Welcome to an Origin Lab tutorial. This video will introduce how to create grouped floating bar chart from both raw and indexed data. For raw data, the grouping information should be put in column A and set as X. The maximum, indeterminate, and minimum values of each bar should be put in a row. To create the graph, highlight all columns. Choose Menu, Plot, Categorical, Grouped Floating Bar. With the dialog, we can choose to plot bar chart or column chart. Choose column. In the worksheet, we have put bar information in the comments header row. So here we choose subgroup to be by column label and comments. OK, so now let's click OK and create the grouped floating bar chart. For index data, column A should be filled with row number and set as X. The maximum, intermediate, and minimum value of each bar are put in three columns, and the corresponding grouping information is put into another column. To create the graph, highlight column CDE, choose Menu, Plot, Bar Pie Area, and Floating Bar. To set gaps between adjacent subgroups, in the Spacing tab of Plots Details dialog, Set subset to be by column B, which is the column with grouping information, and set the gap to be 20%. Then we are going to show grouping information on the axis. In the axis dialog, choose column B to be tick labels. Select tables tab and enable the axis table and customize it as needed. We hope this video was helpful, and as always, thank you for watching.